We're asked to find the derivative of the function using logarithmic differentiation. I do want to mention I have another video that shows how to find the derivative using the quotient rule. To form log differentiation, let's first replace f of x with y, and then we'll take the natural log of both sides of the equation. The next step is to expand the right side by applying properties of logarithms. So we have natural log y equals, because we have natural log of a quotient, we can break this up into two separate logarithms using subtraction. We have natural log of the square of x cubed plus six minus the natural log of the cube of two x plus one. We can expand the right side further by applying the power property of logarithms. For the first log, we can take the exponent of two and move it to the position of the coefficient. And for the second log, we can take the exponent of three and again move it to the position of the coefficient. So now we have natural log y is equal to two natural log of the quantity x cubed plus six minus three natural log of the quantity two x plus one. Now that we've expanded the right side as much as possible, we now differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. When differentiating natural log y with respect to x, we have to apply the chain rule, and therefore we differentiate with respect to y, which gives us one over y, and then we have times dy dx. On the right side, to find the derivatives, we'll have to apply the chain rule. The derivative of two natural log of the quantity x cubed plus six with respect to x is equal to two times one over u times u prime, or one over x cubed plus six times the derivative of x cubed plus six with respect to x, which is three x squared. And then we have minus the derivative of three natural log of the quantity two x plus one, which is three times one over the quantity two x plus one times the derivative of two x plus one, which is two. The next step is to simplify the right side and then multiply both sides by y to solve for dy dx. So we have one over y times dy dx equals, on the right we have six x squared over the quantity x cubed plus six minus six divided by the quantity two x plus one. And we have minus six divided by the quantity two x plus one. And now to solve for dy dx, we multiply both sides by y. Let's do this on the next slide. Simplifying on the left, y times one over y simplifies to one. One times dy dx is dy dx. On the right side, we do want the derivative in terms of x, not x and y. So now we replace y with the original function, which is the square of x cubed plus six divided by the cube of two x plus one. And because we'll be distributing, it's helpful to put the denominators in parentheses. So we have dy dx equals, for the first product we have six x squared times the square of x cubed plus six all over the cube of two x plus one times x cubed plus six. Here we're just multiplying the numerators and denominators. And then for the second product we have minus six times the square of three x plus six all over we have four factors of two x plus one. From here, we can simplify this first fraction a little bit more. Notice how there's a common factor of x cubed plus six between the numerator and denominator. So the x cubed plus six simplifies to one in the denominator, and the square of x cubed plus six simplifies to just one factor of x cubed plus six in the numerator. So the final derivative, people they wanna call it f prime of x or dy dx, is equal to six x squared times one factor of x cubed plus six, all divided by three factors of two x plus one, 
minus six times the square of x cubed plus six divided by four factors of two x plus one. I hope you found this helpful.